Mr. Dalton, we need you on set. Embarrass yourself like that in front of all those goddamn. Are are you okay in there? I'll come back later. What's up everybody, Jared here, and we're back on the movie grind, but if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there's brand new content on this channel every single week, and it seriously helps me out a ton. Anyways, I went out and checked out the ninth film from Quentin Tarantino, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. In 1969 Los Angeles, a TV star Rick Dalton and a longtime stunt double Cliff Booth make their way around an industry they hardly recognize anymore. So does Tarantino shine yet again? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of this love letter to old cinema and how does this rank amongst Tarantino films. Now let's get in some of the good. So Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was one of my most anticipated films of 2019 and duh, it's a Tarantino film. Like obviously from the cast, the story, the flavor, everything that he's going to put into this movie means that it's going to be ranking high in my list. But one of the biggest things, one of the things that really just grabbed me from the opening of this movie was the 60s aesthetic, the style, the music, the cars, everything about this film screamed of that 1969 nice version of Hollywood old cinema. You know, there's the Playboy Mansion, there's the old Hollywood strip, the cars, Everything, I mean, it, in a weird way, it felt nostalgic. I mean, I'd never lived during that time. I'm not 70 years old, but just from, you know, old school movies, the way it was shot and framed, and the filters that they put on it, it just felt very reminiscent and almost, like I said, a love letter to old cinema. And I think that sense of care tied back with everything else in the movie because this movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, is oozing with Tarantino flavor and style in this movie. I mean, obviously he's taking or it was focusing on the Sharon Tate, the Manson murder, some historical stuff that is true, but he takes a little bit of this, a little bit of that, sprinkles some salt in there, and it comes out with this Tarantino mixture that is just perfect. Like the story, the way it flows, the the style of it, it's so good. I ate it up so much. The finished product is an awe in storytelling, much like Inglorious Bastards. It's also focused on non historical events in this movie, but also very much leaning into that once upon a time fairy tale feel that's in the title of the movie. But Once Upon a Time in Hollywood does not stop there. It has great style, it has a great story, and the performances are what really ties everything together. It's sort of the core of this movie. You've got Leonardo DiCaprio, you have Brad Pitt, this brotherly chemistry between the two. Uh, DiCaprio is sort of this aging TV star. He knows that he his career is kind of by the wayside. By the wayside! Uh, sorry about that. DiCaprio does such a great job in this movie as being a great actor playing a bad actor that comes off as being a really good actor, if, if that makes sense. And Brad Pitt playing Cliff Booth, his stunt double, he's more of kind of the grounded, cool, calm, collected guy. A lot of humor is derived from this character, and again, their dynamic is probably the one thing that I enjoyed most of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And one last thing, I gotta talk about the humor in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This is by far the funniest, most clever, self-aware, breaking the fourth wall Tarantino film. It knew exactly what it was. It was playing into the tropes and everything. And I, I had a kick out of this. You know, there's some scenes that are completely out of control, bananas, you would not believe is in this movie, but it's here, it's comedic, it, it drives a lot of the humor, and it's, you can tell that all of the characters in this movie know that they're in a movie that's about a movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood far surpassed what I thought I'd get out of this Tarantino movie, and if I had to look at it, you know, th there's very few things that I thought that were, I guess, bad about this movie. There were a few nitpicky things, you know, maybe the runtime was a little long, maybe it drags here or there. And uh, Margot Robbie as Sharon Tate, her character, I thought it was going to be more of a lead role. She is very much a side character. She has, you know, a scene here, a scene there. So I wish that we maybe would have gotten a little bit more from her character, 
but then again the way everything was crafted it worked so well here overall once upon a time in hollywood is by far one of my favorite films of 2019. it's got a little bit of everything you know tarantino's flavor great performances some humor great style the 60s aesthetic but with a few nitpicky things here or there i would highly recommend checking out once upon a time in hollywood i mean even if you're not a tarantino fan it's got something for everyone you know the cinematography the aesthetic the humor like i said it's got something for everyone it's delightful. In closing, I'm going to give Once Upon a Time in Hollywood 4.5 out of 5 DiCaprio mustaches. So what did you think of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there, you know, movie reviews, trailer reactions, fun comedy skits. There's a bunch of new stuff coming to this channel. There's a bunch of stuff on there right now. Go and watch one of those videos. Follow all of my social media stuff down there. Hit that subscribe button. It seriously helps me out so, so much. And until next time, I'll see you later.